Hello and welcome to the practical examu of chapter 5, Trails of Cold Steelu, 41 hours in, Ao. What's my equip with the mic? Trying to play the device to power the raging winds. We roughly made Tachi, that's extremely sharp. I'll have to like look at these weapons by the end of the game and be like, uh, no. Ornaments, quartz. I think I'm about as buffed out as I'm gonna be. I really think so. Alright, let's do it. All right, let's get it. Guys, so rain day, cool. So we're against the guys first. No matter what distance we try to track them, they have someone capable of countering us. Well, as long as we beat them all, we still win, right? Yeah, that's the spirit, but don't let your guard down. Yeah, just stay aware of the distance between us and them, and don't miss any openings they leave us. Looks like you're all fired up and ready to start. All right, then begin. Okay, you are. no one is knocked out during the battle. Evade and counter an enemy attack. Okay. Because I want Crow to be my boy. And do I have that pretty scopo? Get him! My turn. All right, my turn. You may be asking, why am I trying to do this? Got him. Here we go. Come on, Get him! Jesus! Yeah, I know. I was supposed to evade and encounter an enemy attack. Doesn't matter. That's enough. The match goes to team whatever. <laughs> you fought pretty well together. I mean, all you did was send William in with a giant hammer, and then they just... There you go. Arg, not bad. Ha oh, ha! Oh, you guys didn't set a chance. The three of you certainly don't pull your punches. Hey, you got more than a few good hits on yourself. Clap, clap. Whoa, whoa, don't start breaking out the cold drinks yet. There's plenty of sore in action. Next up, Team Whatever versus Team Class President. We'll begin after a five minute break. Wait, we have to do two in a row? Fine by me. Oh boy, we got ourselves a real slave driver here. Crow's my favorite character. <laughs> I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Let's love him. <clears throat> He's a card. I can't say that! Well, at least we had a chance to catch our breath. Now we're up against the girls. It's safe to say the biggest threat is Lauren Free. Free, yeah. Yep. Yeah, probably. We're gonna have to hold the line. No other attacks while we look for an opening to break through. Alright, hope you got your strength back, and it's time for our second bat beautiful bout. Begin! How do you begin? Alright. Cancel an enemy art. Easy enough, fool. Right. Oh. Get turn. scouted. Yeah. My turn. Get drink. Go. All 
Breathing Purita! Nice. Go. All right. And get out of here! Not read. He's <laughs> over heal. I'm sorry, Elisa. I try. I tried not to do it. You should help us out more often. Yeah, dude. You should, bro. And there we go. That's enough. And it looks like the victory. Like a victory for the Star Wars team. Whatever. Not bad. Not bad at all. I can't believe we lost. We fell short of victory. You all fought admirably. What a shame. It was a close one, though. Ooh, these class seven gals would just straight take you out before they take you out for a night on the town, huh? <laughs> well done, William. You too, Emma. I'd make team whatever go a third round, but there's no one else to fight, so I guess they get a rest. Review your performance later, but in the meantime, we got team class president for team vice president going head to head. Both teams step forward. At least she basically admitted they're like, okay, you guys go round three. <laughs> well, that looks like that wraps things up. The final fight was a real thriller from start to finish to you. It was certainly a good fight, but... Uh, who would have thought that they'd take advantage of a tiny opening like that and overwhelm us? That's Lauren Fee for you, I guess. <laughs> I imagine that where combat is concerned, they would hardly... Or they would handily best most of the second years. The swing is sort of one thing, but we were relying on Elise and Emma to help... Or to keep up the pressure. Yep, we're nearly... The one that had been nearly as effective without him. I'm glad you think so. Still, it's safe to say that everyone fought pretty well. I'm glad that we get to talk about this fight. You know, instead of, instead of watching it. I had this feeling you now that Reen's team would come out on top, though. Winning both matches with a new team is pretty impressive. Yeah. I feel like I was riding on Pro Milium's efforts, though. Nah, don't sell yourself short. You're pretty strong. Yeah, and you're way tougher than you look, too. Thank you. Oh, I see your practical exams or something as forever. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Oh. <laughs> Instructor Nightheart. I was under the impression that having back-to-back -back battles with uneven odds was par for the course in actual warfare. And don't you think learning to fight effectively against cunning opponents with team tactics is important for any soldier? Well, that's certainly true. Um, so what brings you here, Instructor Nightheart? Please tell me this is where we both have to f <laughs> where we have to fight both of the instructors at once. <laughs> of course not. It's just that la like last field. Your upcoming field study is also a bit unusual. Instructor <laughs> Nightheart has been involved in making the arrangements, which is why I asked him to come. What do you mean by unusual? That sounds a bit ominous. Well, we just wrapped up things anyway, so let's move on to announcing your next field study locations! Huzzah! Jirai Special Economics Zone. Interesting. So we got Reen, Laura, Emma, Yusis, Gaius, and Milium. And then Elisa, Fee, Machias, Elliot, and Crow. Oh man, I ain't gonna have my healer! My good healer! The Grand is Laura's hometown, right? Glasses are acting up. 
It is. It's a lakeside town in the south of the Cruisin Providence, blanketed by thick fog for much of the fog for much of the year. As a castle town dating back to the Middle Ages, it has more than its fair share of local legends and tall tales. It sounds like quite a historical hotspot. If I had gone home for summer vacation, I would have returned to Trista only to turn around and head back home again. <laughs> I guess that's true. So what's this about Jurai Special Economic Zone? I'm pretty sure it's a city up on the far northwestern coast of the Empire. You know, a place we own. They used to be independent, but the Imperial government runs the show there, uh, there now. Oh, there it is. I think Graham's annexed it about eight years ago. I just say it out loud, why don't you? <laughs> Julio. <laughs> I'm guessing the Graham she's referring to is... Yeah, probably Mr. Arm, or Blood and Iron Chancellor, or Iron Blood and whatever! Honestly, do you even think about the words coming out of your mouth? Why? It's not like it bothers me. Both locations seem worth checking out. Though the final line that makes me curious, none, other, none of the other field study instructions had anything like it. After two days, reassemble at the designated location. True, usually wherever we go, that's where we stay for the duration of the field study. Care to shed some light on that instructor? I could, but I wouldn't want to instruct your Nighthorn to feel left out, so I'll let him do the honors. <laughs> As you wish. I'll try to read this in the best manly voices I can. After completing your assigned tasks in your re re respected area. <laughs> You'll be boarding and train bound for the rendezvous point. That point is a noble, notable military installation in the southeast of the Empire, Guerrilla Fortress. <laughs> I promise I can read it more than a. <laughs> Guerrilla Fortress? That's the giant base on the border of the. facing the Republic. So after we finished our respective field study, we're going to be whisked away to a major military base? As part of your field study, of course. I'll be joining you there to serve as your military li liaison for the duration of your visit. Naturally, you'll be given a series of assignments specific to that location. Hmm. Wow, sounds like fun! I can't wait to jump off! I very much doubt that's the intent. <laughs> Sounds like you're gonna put us through the ringer on my very first field study. Dot dot dot. Something wrong? Oh, uh, no, nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to another installment of your action packed field study reports. But just so you know, I'm planning on joining you at Gorelia Fortress Team, so. Oh. I'm not gonna let that big bad army man push my adorable little students around. <laughs> I have no intention of asking anything unreasonable of them. Nothing that deviates from the curriculum. <clears throat> like a certain other instructor whose name we shan't mention. Do <laughs> you wanna go? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll take you on right now. Is it even safe to keep these two in the same room together? <laughs> <clears throat> well, it makes sense when you consider, but... <laughs> Your ring's gone, ring's gone out. out. Thank Here's you, a little Tella. something from the Academy. Thank you. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. It's a shame I won't get to A0, probably. I think to get to get to like student A zero, a rank A zero, you have to do literally everything perfectly. Like margin of error is like little to zero. <clears throat> get up! Sorry. I see you heard me. Oh, right. We're heading out on a field study today. I don't need to get up just yet, but I guess it wouldn't hurt. Or I could just give in and go back to sleep. I'm still feeling kind of beat after 
training last night. Huh? Like she's given bad CPR. Stop that! That's not very ladylike. <laughs> right in the gut. I can't believe it! My very first class trip! We're gonna have the best time! How much money do I get to spend on sweets and stuff? Oh, oh! Do bananas count as snacks? No! No, they don't! Just... Just get off me. Please. <laughs> oh, poor uh, Reen. There you are. Good morning, Reen. Seems you had quite the rude awakening this morning. Yeah, Poppy only wishes it was that effective. <laughs> she must have really been looking forward to this trip. <laughs> Certainly seems so. She holds her own in class, to be sure. I like At times the... like these, she seems like any other kid her age. I like that the, the mailbox on the bottom left there is sparkling. <laughs> I'm looking forward to finally getting the chance to visit Laura's hometown. I've heard that Lagram is known for both its many legends and for the mist that hangs over the town for much of the year. <laughs> I don't know which stories you've heard, but most of them have been exaggerated in the retelling over time. It certainly doesn't lack for scenic beauty, though. I was hoping I'd have the opportunity to invite you to see it. Though I wish Elisa, Fee, and the others in Group B could have come with us. <laughs> Me too. Me too. I, hope I hope they enjoy their trip. trip. Sorry, to Sorry to keep you waiting. Keep you waiting. Y uses. Good heavens. Oh, can someone do something about this child? She's out of control. Even <laughs> he's had it. <laughs> okay, looks like everybody's here. Let's go, go, go! Yeah. <laughs> There's something in my mailbox. Whoa! I ain't never noticed this! Is your signature in the serial number 120 or printed on the sticker? Isn't that misty? Is it, is it a prize or something? Oh, it came with a note. I'm, just, I'm sorry to use your show material, though. <laughs> She had thought about her meeting with Shella, so you guess why she sent me the sticker? Well, they seem pretty rare, so I'll be sure to take care of it. Yeah, Grandma sent me something. Hmm, what a curious choice of words. Just remember this soon, you should be getting involved in something too dubious. Okay, you'll definitely all got the wrong idea here. Yo, straight up, really? I've never done that, like in any playthrough. This is like my sixth playthrough. I've never noticed. I didn't think that was something I could do. That's so cool. I'm so cool. I wonder if it does anything. Hold on, is that, do I have like a, yo, straight up. I, I wonder if like I, if I unlock something by doing that. Don't you forget the most important question you need to ask to your caring wife? Oh, silly me. Haha, <laughs> my sweetest. Would you be so kind as to provide me with a morning kiss? Giggle. Gladly. <laughs> oh no, so it's us again. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be showing up to someone else. Uh, I d Dude, JRPG, like, just walk into any person's house? Like, seriously. All the time. Oh. Hmm. So? I could sell all these weapons. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. Oh, oh, uh. Yeah, 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 we'll do that. Oh, I'm, I'm short. Nah, it doesn't matter. It'll be there. Sorry, I'm, I, I forget, like, the... Uh. Hey, yo, Elisa, what you doing? 
So we really dry this one. Look at the Bell's Gorelia Fortress, though. Yep. Let's make sure we're ready. I like the Elliot's in a bookstore. Why would you be in a bookstore? Is he only in obvious choice now, but I never expected to say, uh huh? Yeah, I'm kind of worried now. Why is that? Well, actually, never mind. It's not a big deal or anything. Clearly. Clearly, it's not a big deal. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it starts. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. And boop, 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 boop. Get it, Gaius! Huh. I'll do what I can. Get it, Laura! You live by a lake! That came out rather well. Laura. <laughs> Get it, Fee! <laughs> I'm Emilium. <laughs> Look at all that smoke! <laughs> Pretty funny when you consider that she's in the cooking club. First, first few of civic class of It's actually kind of funny. How so? I told you we were part of the Arcus Trials last year, didn't I? A lot of stuff happened back when they served as the model for class 7. Or back then, actually served as the model for class 7. So we had our own field study of sorts. Instructor Sarah was always putting us through one heckish situation or another. <coughs> wow. You know, well, it's more than just a coincidence they put this guy into your class. Should have make him useful, you hear? We'd hate to see, see you make a fool of yourself and start ruining our reputation, yeah. Oh. <laughs> cool. Guess we'll leave. I can't do any grinding, so I might as well get on the train. We need to train stations up real hard to get to the ground, right? I suppose it's better for us to take the cruise and main line than the transcontinental railway line then. Right, after reaching Bray Hard, we'll transfer the local line, the Evel Branch. There's only one train every two hours, so I'm hoping we can make it in time by our island to afford to make the wait. <laughs> it's exactly 7 a.m. right now. We should arrive at Berea Hard and we're somewhere around 10.30 and reach the Grand by noon. We've got work waiting for us the first day, too, so the earlier we can reach the Grand, the better. Agreed. There's a chance. There's always the chance our class of the problem shop will make another scene. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, well, you guys are here earlier than I expected. You all ready to leave, too? Nah, we still got about another 20 minutes or so of the next train to Baraya Howard comes in. You're all going to Jirai SEZ, right? I've been there. It sounds like fun. It's apparently quite a trip to get there, though. It's on the Empire... E Empire's northwest coast. You have to cross the entire Lemire province to get there. Well, it's not too often you go on a nice long trip like this. 
But worry not, the hours will just fly by as I teach you all how to be as cool and popular as I am. You teach him, Crow. Yeah, thanks, but I'll just take a nap instead. platform until the train has come to a complete stop. I'll see you around two days then. Let's see you Grelia. Bye. Have a safe trip. See you later, Elliot. Elliot. Later, Machius. And Crow, at least make a token attempt to stay out of trouble. No worries. If you hear about it, it means I wasn't at the top of my game. One of these days, Reem, you'll thirst for my life and adventure. Right. <laughs> Try not to you know, drive everyone crazy for the next two days. Okie dokie! <laughs> you know, I find that this not, why do I not find that the slightest bit reassuring? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. Hey, look at you guys getting getting along. May the guidance of the winds and the goddess be with you all. I look forward to seeing you again in two days. Uh, everybody had to chime in, basically. Oh, except Laura. Laura and Emma and... Lisa, I don't think said anything uh, that exchange. I could be mistaken. But... Also, I might cut this episode short, or because I don't intend to do a full hour today, most likely. I might. I don't know. We still have a while longer before our train leaves. We ought to purchase our tickets now while we're waiting. Good morning, everyone. Group A headed to the Gram, right? Yes, that's right. I'd like to purchase that ticket to the Gram via Beret Honored. Coming right up. Do you want them right away? Five tickets and wait. Okay, so that's six passengers bound for the Gram via Beret Honored. I'll have those tickets for you in just a moment. Shabam. Oh, you're all heading out? What? Who? Oh, it's Lecter. You miss me already? Sure did. I'm gonna be back in Crossbell starting the day after tomorrow. Oh. Might never have the chance to see you again in this lifetime, so I figured I'd drop by and say hello. Whatever. You're so silly. There's no way you or Gramps would die that easily. Well, that old goat might scare off the Reaper, but I'm pretty weak, you know. <laughs> yeah. Who's he? Captain Lecter Arendar of the Imperial Intelligence Division. We saw him while we were on our field study in Nord. He's the one supposedly responsible for negotiating with the Republic's army to prevent war from breaking out. But... So he's the iron blood they call Scarecrow. I have to admit, he doesn't look like someone who specializes in espionage. Well, I'm sure this little drop of sunshine's got suspicious written all over her, but I hope you're getting along. Don't hesitate to give her a good spanking if she causes too much trouble, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, we'll try our best to be a welcoming class. I'm not gonna cause them any trouble. Unlike you, I'm a little angel. Really? What kind of little angel would casually whip out something like Eric Getlam in public? Do you have any idea how much overtime we put in just covering up for you? Huh? You do? Passenger service bound for Heindal, now arriving on Platform 2. We ask that all passengers wishing to board please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete I'm, stop. I, I can't skip that dialogue. If you'll excuse us, Captain. I'm afraid we need to catch this train. Sure thing. Uh, good luck out there, guys. Oh, and by the way, I'd prefer it if you referred to me as secretary rather than captain in public. After all, I am a second secretary for the Imperial government. I see. Well then, if you'll excuse us, Mr. Secretary. You better bring me back a souvenir from Crossbell. Interesting. So you just happen to want to pop up to say goodbye, huh? Is that right? I don't know if I believe you. I don't know if I believe you, Lecter. You ooze suspicious. Mm, suspicious. Excuse me. 
That's a slow takeoff. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it is a train. Oh! There's a cat! I don't know if I've ever noticed that. <laughs> they seem like an even more interesting bunch than I'd heard. Mm. Hope she gets the chance to soak in the good times at school like I did. Mm. Well, well. For two Ironbloods, you two have a pretty cozy thing going. Yep. You're picking an awful time to do this cutscene! Uh-oh. Looks like a scary lady's got me in her sights. Time to make my exit. Not so fast. Didn't you have something you were supposed to give me? Come on. Cough it up. <laughs> they don't call you the purple lightning for nothing. Maybe you should consider giving up this teaching gig and coming to work for us. I'll bet we could offer double what the Academy's paying you. No sweat. Ah. Strictly business, huh? Up. I'm not getting any younger here. Hand it over. This is the list of every member of the Imperial Liberation Front that we're aware of at present. We've made progress in identifying their top figures, too. I see. I suppose I should thank you. Hmm. Oh, uh, one more thing. Claire had a message she wanted me to pass along. I'm listening. Their primary target is Crossbell City. There's a chance that something else will be going down within the Empire at the same time. Those were her words. Ooh. Interesting. See, I know that this game and Trails from Zero actually happen at the same time. So, I am currently playing through Trails from Zero, which I gotta get back to at the time of this recording. I hadn't played in several months. The one I got, you know, sidetracked with Trails in the Reverie. And you know, other games. So I will get back to that. So I'm curious. Like, I want to play them to see how well they line up together. Because I know they happen at the same time. But. Alright. Let me save. I'm gonna have a little bit of dialogue. Wow, it's like the sea of greed out there. Hey, uses. Why is all the wheat all green? Wheat, barley, and rye are all cultivated in the cruise in Providence. Each is grown for in its season, which means that we're seeing right now is the fall wheat crop. Oh, look at that. That's a weird scarecrow. Huh? Look at its head. It's, it looks all messy like Lecter's. Ugh. <laughs> now, as long as she's enjoying herself. At times I think she seems like she's like any girl her age. I still believe that she's only 13. That's a year younger than my brother. Really? My brother's 14. I think this thing is perspective, doesn't it? This was a good time to tell y'all. Yeah, oh my gosh! Okay, like grandma's a small town in the... Wow, it is small. No, it's small. My father, by Count Marseille, because it's a town which itself is part of the cruise in Providence. Sounds familiar from the Marseille, is the province used his father overseas? Well, technically, yes. But the Grimms own a particularly self reliant town. I doubt the Viscount is much interested in the authority of his new glory. My father can be a little too free spirit at times. My father is probably going to go, especially. So I'm still not aware of that. Um. Sorry, eh? She would have such a sensitive issue there. No, there's nothing for you to apologize for. She was like, these are the daily bread of the nobody. Yep. I went to a few lords, discovered their respective regions. As far as taxation goes, each region has little statutes, which makes the whole situation even more complicated. Yep. Major points of dispute between the two factions. Incidentally, my father's stance on the matter is blank will freeze over before I consent to it. Each region of the has its own tradition and custom. Yes, my lord, I told you I would come over in a minute, dude! <laughs> Sorry. I, look, I, uh, I don't want to skip this, but I can't, I can't save in the middle of a cutscene. Anything in our stat teaches, yep. The R.C. School of Swordsmanship is style passed down by ancient knights of Erebonia. It's one of the two most famous sword styles in the Empire, the other being the Vander School. I heard there's a training hall. The students of the R.C. School come from all over the Empire to train. Indeed, there is. Some of the students at the school are studying in the Gram at the moment. The rest are scattered throughout the Empire. Moore's father, yeah, he knows where he's from. The Gram, he also the current head of the R.C. School. Oh boy, that does have a super cool name, title like the Radiant Blade Master. That is a pretty cool sounding title, I'm not gonna lie. 
I'm assuming they're coming from his daughter, but his strength is quite frankly inhuman. <laughs> Seems like an incredible guy. He likes his comment, struck with his nation, all these from Instagram, and you're talking about his only hero is going to give time away from home in the territory. That is unfortunately the case. But there's no guarantee that my father will even. My, my father. My father will be there. Alright! Can I save? Eh? Yay! Okay! <laughs> Alright, I don't like skipping through dialogue like that, but... I am a bit on a time crunch. Okay, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Hope that one will be longer and take more time to enjoy. Thank you guys.